Well, good morning. Putting together another video for whoever decides to watch it. Enjoys watching fishing videos as much as I do of random people. Um, we are going out to Nia Bay this weekend in Washington. Uh, me, my brother, and my dad. This is kind of a... Last time we were here was like 10 years ago. So doing a little... I wouldn't say like 10 year reunion, but, um, <clears throat> sorta. Anyways, it's been 10 years since we've kind of done the whole camping thing. We're getting a cabin. Uh, we're going for halibut and lings, lingcod. Maybe some other stuff. We'll see what we get. Um, and we'll be out there for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And yeah, gonna kind of. Just see how things go, see how the weather goes, see what we can do, and I will start down the hallway, doesn't it? I will see you guys there. Last time we didn't have this table, or this, or that. I don't even think we had running water, did. So we can shower and a little bunk bed set up. Blanket, plenty. Do we need to put anything, should we empty the cooler up, put anything in the fridge, else in the fridge, dude? I would focus on, uh, let's put in like this stuff, guy, because these are basically thaw. Yeah, that was the one thing I realized when we posted well, that first King video. I know, was, it's how like, much I swear. <laughs> yeah, and Al was like, God, that's aren't you taster? That's just the taster. Al was like, guys, you, sh they, you, you can tell where we are and what you're using and. Ain't nobody seeing it. It's not like it's getting a million views. And then views. you can't take wild fish out <laughs> right. of the water. And did it? How many views did it get? A couple uh, hundred. Six hundred. One of them. Cheers. Yeah. This cheers to the first white fish in the boat. Hundred Breaking year them. old whiskey. That's actually pretty good. I like it. Oh, it's stronger than I was ready for. Jesus Christ. It's sixty-three. Sixty-three. Yeah, that'll put percent. lead in your pencil. So it's what? 126 proof. It's 126 proof. Jesus Christ. No wonder it was so expensive. You better put a, <laughs> a half a shot in those. Caleb's. 
Jesus Christ, Tyler. I didn't know that when I bought it. The guy just... Good thing I don't get heartburn anymore from being fat because Good that... I brought my Prilosec. Yeah, because that would have given me... I could feel it trying to give me heartburn. Mm -hmm. Really? I need some ice water, man. I'm dehydrated. The cell signal's so bad. Uh, I was oh, anxious gosh. from that fucking drive. You've got problems. Right. I just kept thinking I was hearing things with the trailer and my truck and I freaking all right my rotors got hot for old fashioned I flipping I was breaking so much my fucking rotors were hot or here I'll drink out of this one you guys drink out of it the nice thing about my truck though is is I can is back yeah. I can back the truck up and not get my wheels wet when you were telling me to stop. Yeah, you the fucking back end of the boat was floating. Yeah. The ramp's so steep. Yeah, I didn't. What is this? There's nothing. That's even... an old fashioned. You didn't it's want like that. a martini on the rocks, basically. Yeah, but there's. What some... else would you put in it? So I can't sugar. even get Ben Tusky to look. Oh, I'm supposed to put this in here. Yeah, make your orange. Do it right. Forgot that. Uh, ben Tusky's loading, but I got LTE and it's super slow. So I'm gonna put our keys over here. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. It takes uh, I got it. I have 5G, dude. dude. Where are we at? Thursday we're like, we're, we're at right here. 7 a.m. Tatoosh, 8 knots, 7 knots. Yeah, and Ben Tusky says at 7, it says... Ooh, that's really good in an old-fashioned. Ben Tusky says 11 knots. Okay. So what did we all think it was doing right that's now? That's real good as an old-fashioned. Right now. It's west wind, at least 10. Wendy says like 11 to 12. <clears throat> Jordan says, awesome, don't let any res kids rob your coolers. We used to go do that and steal beer. Dude, that's really good in an old fashioned. Yeah, so good. What do you know. think, Ted? Arctic's Dude, I, going inside. Because... I was in Forks once and I had a freaking 25 pound king and the ice chest in the back of my fucking truck and somebody stole it. Really? I'm yeah, I caught it as a sawduck and. And um, Todd, put this on your bed. I don't have room for that on my bed. Or put it underneath where mine is. This is in the main area. Yeah. Then Todd, Wendy still still tomorrow I want dad's shit. Yeah. Wendy still shows at a lake That's tomorrow. Your pants in the kitchen, Ty. Come it's on, fine. dude. It's fine. Wendy shows at a lake tomorrow till. You want to just move that ladder? Here, I'll Are you good? Right here. To, yeah. Right here. You good? You, you want to move no, that? That's perfect. Okay. I just cool. didn't want it. Yeah. yeah. That's out of the way. Well, we'll see who's right. I mean, Husky or Wendy. I'm betting Wendy's right. I mean, Ben Tusky's right. What do you think about that old fashioned? Uh, it reminds me of the old days. It was pretty good. Dude, when I graduated from college, Tyler, I immediately got a job at Boeing. Right. And I started in Auburn. And your mom and I were already married. So Man, I'm putting your Tumi bag under the bag. We, I mean, I had... I got hired. I had to go to work. So I went down to Auburn and stayed in a hotel. Boeing paid for the hotel for a month. And I, I didn't know anybody. I was <gasps> I was 21. Mm -hmm. I went to the I was an Elks member. So I went to the Elks club in Auburn and I sat down with the coolest old fuckers. They were all like 75, 80 and the first drink I ever had was an old batch. Nice. With those guys. I partied with them. I watched the March Madness basketball tournament with them it was awesome every night i went to the elks club until your mom moved down then i couldn't go because women weren't allowed oh really no women weren't allowed <clears throat> yeah dad i, I tried to show so you dad you just want to go to duncan rock no there's another one it's called dunce rock dunce it's there just it to the west of it it's like this one? right there. That one? That spot is a halibut spot, dude. See this, Dad? 600 feet. Nope, not on the top. Oh. Oh, right, right, A couple rings up. Normally we go out here. Yeah, well, we have to fish. But we have to fish down here. See, here's the border. Are we doing lingers in the so morning first? down here. Uh, while the top, while I the think we need current's to take good? Of trying to go find it. I think... Because Friday's get, got halibut dude, all over it. I know, but if we want to get six halibut, we got to catch a halibut. We got to catch... 
No, we I want. I mean, if we, we want, want to get nine, gold albums. tomorrow needs no, no, to no, be. No, no, in. The gold no. tomorrow needs to be one halibut and six lings. We definitely need to get a halibut tomorrow. One or two. One would be perfect. And one then we can run away six Dad, lings. Race okay. out here okay. and just see what happens. And if we can't fish, come well, back. Well, we can always come inside and fish the garbage dump. Then right. Because we, we're not getting anything but halibut at the like garbage right dump. Like right here. Right off. Of this is the one we need to look at. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Garbage dumps like right here. Because this is where we'll fish tomorrow. Yeah, this that's is the case. garbage dump. Worst right case, we have to fish right here only. Right. And we'll get lingers out here. But look at all these spots, guys, are ling spots. Well, this whole bank is, Caleb. Don't you remember? Yeah, you oh, yeah. Me, Alan and Colin. That's like, look at 114 to 16. Excellent for ling cod and rock fish. Yeah, and over here is which is good. right here, dude. You probably this can't. Really you probably can't too. buy this map anymore, huh? No. <laughs> this is probably 20, 15 years old. Yeah, 20 years old. Good grief! I gotta take a shit. Is there a bathroom? <laughs> it's in here, dude. No, I know. But is there? A no. What's that say? Restrooms right there. Uh, walk over there. Where are you gonna blow it up? Well, I might. Might as well just break it in. So we're gonna brine a batch of bait. Day three. Okay, hold that open for me, Ty. Oh, you're good. Do you have to add salt every time you use a brine? Or are you just adding it for kick? Yeah, this is just to help them. Um, need to put more in there, but. You feeling all right, Dad? Yeah. Isn't there a bat? I think there's a basketball game on tonight, yeah? Might be. This shirt is so soft, dude. I like it. Try to put some more salt in there. Okay. Don't be afraid. That's enough. Yeah, so don't be afraid, so. Do you have to add water or anything? No. Just let that suck the moisture out of them. Oh, I see. They'll turn them into licorice. Yeah, oh. they'll turn into like fucking shoe leather. Like they'll be like little firm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Glossy. Gummy bears. Yeah. Okay, let's just throw this in the Yeti that's going tomorrow. That's Caleb's, so he'll probably kill you if you drink it. <laughs> Just to kind of like be able to look back and grill it up some. It's dark out. Real dark. Good morning. I don't know if you can see me, but it's about 4.45. We're up, walking to the boat. Raining. Didn't anticipate this rain this early yesterday, so rain's good though. It'll be should be nice and flat out there for a while. Might get blown off in the afternoon. What? Let's go. Breaking my beef stick. Plans to, I think. Um, I don't, I mean, yeah, I don't really know. I think so, right? What? Yeah, alley first for one or two. And that's a big question because that's.
first before you do that. and gentle. Just scoop pieces, dude. Come here. I can't move the net. Just like hook him. You don't even need to try to gaff him. the fucking orange snapper. We're gonna have to find someone. You can fix these things if you just buy the snaps and drill them out. Matt could probably do it for us in 10 minutes. You ready, Dad? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you? I'm gonna go below you. Be ready because I got some weight on mine too here, I think. Dinner there, you guys. Oh, you need to 
just you to get out of the way, and then I'll get the bunker. You can tell when you got a good line on, can't you? Yeah, it's instant. Literally the second I hit the bottom, every time it's a fish on it. That 130, 140 is a good spot right there. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly you go where from I was. Like 130 to 160. It's the second hump down. Yeah, that's a great one. Another good one, dude. Yep. I'll take your picture when you're ready. See how they wrap up in the net? That's why I don't like that fabric net for things. That fish is green because he's living down there in the green environment, so it's just camo. Flyers. Got ya. Photo as soon as you're ready. Woo! <laughs> God, look at some of the spines are just ripped off. That's a good one, dude. Boom. Or Not whatever. Near as nice as the other one. I got to reload too, so. I'm going to relocate or go back in there or just. Yeah, we're going to relocate. It only takes a second. Yeah. Meat run, dude. One more, and then it's garbage dump. <laughs> Let's go. Head, right? It doesn't matter. So oh, okay. hit the belly. Yeah, why don't you do it? I will. How's it feel, Caleb? Uh, it 20 feels okay. Chick it's chickeny? I haven't had a head shake or nothing. And he doesn't know he's hooked yet? It's just the weird part. Yeah, that means it's either incredibly small or big boy. It could be a fucking big old ring, too. It could be, who knows? It sure looked like a halibut. Give me some reverse again. Looks like you're almost to the surface. Probably got 50, 60 feet left. You have to keep going, Dad. Keep doing that. Yeah, you hold the, the rope with the heart. Dad, do it. You with the film. Yeah, that's fine. So I'll get the harpoon another one. Okay, Dad, get in position. Move. I look here in the way. Yep. You go got I don't want to wrap the rope around you. Tyler, you drive. Yep, I got you. We're going to need a little we're reverse. A little nice. reverse for it's Canada. Go to the boat, it's nice. No, we're good now. Oh, it is a dandy. Is it really? Oh, it's a skate. Oh. oh. God damn gaff or what? Just gaff the hook? <laughs> he snagged him. Bring him in the boat. Take a picture of it. No rats. Oh, that's a bummer. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I said I had to help him shake, right? No, I'm just... Oh, you're gonna just... Weird. Oh, man. What do you wanna do here? Oh, you got the right idea. that thing up here just pick it up and chuck it <laughs> you hurt you, dude. yeah i know but like well no no grab those yeah, things grab its wing yeah, it's gonna slip out oh, of my I hand need to do it? So I got the 
It'll slip out of my hand. Son of a Guaranteed. bitch, man. Escape. Oh, he is a slimy little Why couldn't I do, fucker? Dad, be careful. That could sting That's him. what I'm saying. I don't know. Does it have a Just spike on it? Just gaff him and get him out of the boat. Just gaff his wing. Gaff his wing. Or the mouth. Just stick that in there. There you go. Okay. He'll live. He'll live from that. That's fine. Yeah, it's just a little... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking skates, dude! Let's just push the top button and put it in the rod holder and pull it out. There's still a lot of line. Does this gaff him or what? He's right below us, we're fine. Straight nice and easy, Ty. Yeah. yeah, he's like this, that now we're good. Now he's running, now he's running. Oh, yeah, don't let him get his head down and go all the way to the bottom. Oh, look, dude, he's me. Come on, Ty, dude, nice and... Give me my strap. Yep. He now, he knows he's, now he knows he's hooked. Oh, on, Ty! Now he knows he's hooked. Get out of the rain here. Yeah. Should, Should we poon, we poon him? Well, you might need the poon, gonna in my opinion. Get... You might need it. I don't know where it went. I could just gaff him. Dude, he did not know he was hooked until he just took 80 feet of line. Dude, I'll let you net him all through. You're better. I got the fucking thing almost on full drag, dude. Let's go, baby. Almost on full drag, Caleb. I'm gonna get a look at him, Dad, and then we'll trade spots still if we need to. Still nowhere near. I can see him on the screen. Yeah. How deep is he? Nice and easy, Dad. Nice and easy. Oh, we got color. We got color. Nice and slow. Nice and slow here. Because I'm gonna trade spots with Dad. That's a big fish. Okay, you got to trade places with Tyler. Yeah, okay, oh, okay. Yeah. There it is. Oh, I missed. All right. Dude, give me the net. He was in a bad spot. The harpoon's dull. Yeah. Okay, I see that. It just slid right off. I don't like this. Why don't we just net him? Nice. Yeah, buddy. Nice fish. I don't side. think we go in. Let's just stay out for another hour, dude. Fuck it. Shallower, dude. Like 30, 30, 40? Yeah. Better than a fucking chicken. That's a alley, bro. <laughs> That's a alley. Oh, wait. Oh, Grab the line. I gotta go, Dad. I got a hard thing to fish. I will never do it in the boat. <laughs> I'll send you a picture. Let's go, Caleb! Yes! Come on! Oh, let's go in, Caleb! No way, let's get one let's more! Go in, Caleb. <laughs> we got 20 more minutes! Oh. Almost out of memory. You got six minutes to reel that hey, fish yeah, in, bro. Getting ready, whatever you need to do. Net? Or oh, what? Gaff? Is it big? I don't know, but. Gaff right ready, there. You know, you never know. I'm ready. I can have that net in six seconds. Okay. Got a way to go, yeah, buddy. Right, yeah. cool. Getting there. I can't see it on the chart. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess maybe you're close. 50 feet? It's got plenty of battery. Why did it shut off? Yeah, After a minute down, or something? I mean, it could be like dead straight. I don't know why it shut off. That was weird. Yeah, do that reverse again, man. That helps. You got a big boy on here, huh? Yeah, do that. 
Okay, I see him. I got color. Okay, color. Fighting. No way. It was fighting. You guys saw it. <laughs> Yeah, we've only been here like five minutes. Yeah. There you are. Elite. Super tiny. Yeah, that's so small. Yeah. Might be dead, but it'll be fine. You see he'll be. He'll swim away, I guarantee it. See him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll get over. I'll stay over here. Nice fish. Okay, ball in the bucket, Ty. That a boy. Oh yeah, perfect. Bigger medium to small length would be my guess. Put the line. Oh yeah, it might be a nice one then. Or it was something small and a ling grabbed him. Yeah, just in case, you never know. Felt like it wasn't that big and then he got heavy. Right. So. Nice laying, Dad. Yep. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking eater laying, bitch. Woo! Did you took something too tight? Yeah, I'm reeling in like halfway up. Did I get a fucking king? No. Yeah, ten more. Enough to get one more jumbo Ziploc would be sweet because then we'd all basically get one jumbo, you know, five pounds worth of sea bass. So hopefully we get at least like four more of those. There was three Halley, three Ling, and two sea bass bags. Three alley bags today. No, we should get at least probably four or five today. I mean, mine is gonna give give us three. It's the same as yesterday's. Right. So. And then the two little ones probably get us at least three more. So yeah, we're looking at having six, nine alley bags total for the trip. Nothing wrong with that. This is fucking big cheese zone. You will be soon. Just be ready. You don't really feel it. Like your line just kind of goes slack. Well, I know. The 
Let's see, I'm on the bottom. So we got the fish on. Ooh. Tucker. Caleb's got a lane, that's okay. No, dink. Whatever it is, it's a fucking dink. Black bomber. I'll take another one, bitch. Get your baits worth. Yeah. Like I said, if it's legal, it's going in the fucking boat. Tyler, we have like 12 ounce halibut weights and 16 ounces. You can use one of those too. I have six on for reference. I mean, if you got five or six, you should be fine. Well, he's having a hard time to stand down, it seems. Now you're on the bottom. Now you're on the bottom. What do you got, Caleb? A ling. Decent? Yeah, no. Just throw in the boat. Let me see it. I was here yesterday. I just didn't check your boat. Oh. We got to play around in that fun weather all day too. We got one alley in case Did you want to mark it down. I don't. We we do a sample rate. So yesterday we were two out of three. So you fit in that one out of three that didn't get sampled. Oh. Okay, so. Right. And then you average. Yeah. yeah they, they count the boats go out in the morning and then you just yeah, didn't add see it up. It is, so I oh, and then they prorate the fish catch up. based well, on. It just goes catch per unit effort. So you say. Okay, the average of the two thirds we, you know, yeah. checked got this many fish, and they were this size. It's kind of like doing lengths, so it's yeah. average per poundage. So you assume that everybody caught the same average of fish. You assume that if you do a random sample throughout the whole day, that you should come up with the correct number. Yeah. Right. Yep. Right. right. And if everybody gets drunk, they all get, everybody gets drunk? <laughs> Every boat you check is full of drunk people, mm -hmm. and all the boats you didn't check are full of drunk people too? Yeah. <laughs> Probably fair. <laughs> Makes sense. Might so be a different sport than this. Right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Thank you guys very much. Yeah, no problem, dude. <coughs> Have a wonderful day. Stage one complete. Uh, 19 it was. 19. Okay. okay, what's that say? That's Howie. I can just tell. That's Ling. Let's do some Ling. Yeah, we don't have. I think Howie. Ling's gonna be the same as sea bass. Howie. That's oh, Ling. I see Ling here. That's Howie. Ling. 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 Oh boy. Should be more leg. Leg. Oh boy. <laughs> we did get five yesterday. That's Hallie. It's all Hallie in here. Okay. Now. I'll put it over there. If you I, know, I know, I know. We'll put the leg in this corner. Yeah. yeah, right. Just leave it for now and shut it. Yep. Just get it shut. Leg time. Taco. 6'10. Here we go, boys. Are these labeled? No, no, I need the marker back. There you go. These are. <laughs> right, Todd, on that one. But why? Just throw them in there. All right, I don't care. Might need dad's other pen. Have to grab a couple from work, huh? Yeah, can't let it get wet.
<laughs> you doing okay, Ty? Oh yeah, the pen's dying. Well, he took my bag, so I don't know where it went. Dude, slow down. You want to try this? Yeah, it just seems dying. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Alley 610. Uh. Where are you getting all that, dude? The Yeti? Yeti. What, he thinks that it needs to be colder in there? Uh, apparently, <laughs> right? and it's plenty cold. It's just the nice to have them buried. But they're not going to be buried. No, I know, but the ones on the bottom are. Yeah, close enough. There's more ice in here too. There you go, Dad. These are all good. Okay. Don't have enough room. Is it all in there? One piece left. There is? One piece. Oh. <laughs> Eight Lang bags. Fourteen Halley bags and a taco bag each. So that's uh oh, shit. fifteen. That's thirty dinner bags of fish. 30 plus pounds that's of meat. That's almost one a week. That's almost after tomorrow. Uh, one a week. Got one a week for a year. It's going to swift here tomorrow. <laughs> Just kidding. That's what I'm saying. We have three three halibut baits. Three mm. bags or three baits? Three packs. It takes so long to run there. Though, it dude. does. I know. It would Especially be Especially in the morning. Because yeah, it's, it's extra gonna be choppy. It's going to be rough tomorrow. It's going to be way worse like if tomorrow it was, than Day. Yeah. It took us what an hour and a half, two hours to get out there today. You guys, I'm watching these, but they're gonna be barely watched. I mean, you remember what Ventusky said? We won't even get around the corner tomorrow. Yeah, Ventusky said like twenty. Twenty? Well, what's it say right now? Because it ain't blowing at all. Caleb, why do you keep throwing half drinks away? I didn't, dude. up a little rough raw waters today and yesterday didn't help finish the trip but uh, all done boats cleaned locked up heading home little recap was day one it was awesome five lingers Caleb got one that was god it had to have been 25 pounds and we probably got eight or nine sea bass that were good size like five eight pounders and we went and got a 40 pound halibut at the end of the day day two Went out to Swiftshire, it was rough. I puked three times and then started driving the boat. And then we got three halibut in like an hour and we were done. And then we came in and it was kind of choppy, it was rough. Caleb wanted to quit, so we quit. And then today was just no bueno. I didn't really have time to fish on Saturday, so I had to check out and all that, so we tried, but. See ya. But we tried, at least on the last day. We only had a, like three hours to fish, so. And our bait was, our bait went to shit yesterday and today, so that didn't help for the lings and sea bass and stuff. Tried to procure it to 
toughen it up, but it didn't do much. All in all, pretty fun trip for Wednesday, Thursday for a three night trip. It was pretty fun. We got soaked on Thursday, just pissed rain on us. I'm buying Grundens and boots and gloves and I'll be set for the next time we go out there. It's pretty fun. Boat's ready for July 1st. Kings opens out here. And uh, we'll start putting some more stuff together. See you guys then. See you probably at the end of King season unless we get a really cool day. I'm gonna slap a video together. But until the next one, uh, coming soon. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Coming soon. More fun fishing videos. Ooh. Later, guys.